Hey everyone! This is a quick tutorial showing how to use UV map data in geometry nodes, which will allow you to use textures to precisely control specific parameters easily. As an example, I'm going to use a texture to control the density of instance grass objects on this plane. I'm starting off with a plane that has a whole lot of subdivisions and a grass object that I made earlier. I'm just going to real quick set up a simple geometry node system. Here's our grassy plane without any sort of texture controlling the density. We need to add an image texture and connect the color output to the density of our grass. Next, we need to get our UV map data, which my brain thinks should be in this menu with all the other attributes. And I feel like eventually it probably will be, but there isn't any UV option currently. We need some way to get the vector information from the UV map into our texture, and it turns out it's not too hard, but sort of hidden. Connect this empty socket on the group input to the vector input of the image. Now in the modifier tab, click this little icon on the geometry node modifier. And in this menu, the plane's UV map is an option. If you have multiple UV maps, they'll all show up in this menu. And that's it! That's all it currently takes to add your UV map data to geometry nodes right now. This allows us to do some pretty cool things. If we switch over to texture paint mode, we can paint on areas in which our instanced objects will appear. You can do this in the 3D viewport, or in the image editor, just like with any other Blender texturing. Since Blender's textures only output numbers between 0 and 1, you can't get values greater than 1. So currently this is as dense as we can get our grass. To get a larger range, go into your geometry nodes and add a multiply node after the image texture, set to whatever you want your new max value to be. Now if you adjust your brush strength, you can paint in your new value range. So for me currently, I can paint densities of grass between 0 and 10. And you can use this for all sorts of different things, like adding mushrooms and moss to trees, or little details to characters such as hair. If you had your geometry node system set up correctly, you could assign different densities to rivers, trees, and cities, and then just with different brush strengths paint on an entire world. Thank you for watching! I hope this comes in handy! Please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. If you'd like to help the channel grow, share our video! We also have a Patreon. Thanks again! Stay safe! I love you all! Okay, goodbye.